Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering 10 different common mistakes which you can avoid that really hurt your SEO. Now, the first mistake you can make is using a bad web hosting platform, in my opinion. These days, a lot of web hosting companies will actually offer tools which will help you with your SEO and help you get your website started. And if your platform doesn't offer that as good of SEO as possible, and whereas a lot of SEO mistakes are actually a bit harder to fix and they take longer, this is a super simple, a super easy fix. All you have to do is switch to a super good hosting provider, and I've actually got a link in the description of this video to my top three website hosting providers of 2021. So if you do want to check that out, you can do that. But now let's get into the next tip. The next tip is you need your website to be super easy to navigate. If your website is easy to navigate, you want your users and the search engine crawlers to be able to understand and navigate your website at a glance. You don't want it super complex. You don't want it super hard to use. You just want it simple and straightforward. Next up, you want a super fast page load speed. And this once again kind of stems into your website hosting provider. If you have a bad one, odds are your load speed is bad and you're losing a lot of potential customers and potential traffic. You have to make sure your website loads ideally under one second. Anything above one second just doesn't feel right for me. And that is why I do recommend certain hosts like Bluehost, like Hostinger, like Hostgator. All of these website hosting platforms offer very fast website loading time. Next up, you need a mobile friendly website to increase your SEO. There are 275 million smartphone users living in the US in comparison to the 330 total million people living in the US. So that is a gigantic market for you to tap into. Next up though, you need to make sure you are not missing the H1 tags because the H1 tags are the first thing which search engine crawlers look for to help them determine what your website is about. So go ahead and check that code and make sure you include an H1 tag to make it really pleasing for Google and places like that. Next up, make sure your images are very small and compact so it doesn't take up extra page loading time on your website. Another thing you can fix is getting rid of a bunch of disruptive, annoying pop-ups. Because even though pop-ups are very good and can help convert a lot of people, the problem is if your pop-up is constantly interrupting and annoying your visitor, it will make your website have trouble ranking higher on the search engines. Next up, and this is a very common problem, do not add text directly into your images. Instead, add it overlaid on top of them. At least if you can. The reason being is if you overlay your text on top of your image, it is much easier for your website to rank because those are more potential keywords for you. Next up, infinite scroll is actually a big problem because a big reason is Google bots actually can't scroll. So ideally, as nice as infinite scroll is from a design perspective, if your site has a bunch of pages, Google can't crawl to the next pages because their bots will not scroll on your website. So you want to fix that and disable infinite scroll as tempting as it can be to leave it enabled. Finally, you want to avoid thin content. What this means is basically just don't do the bare minimum. Don't only put a bit of information on your website, make it feature rich, make it rich with content, make it SEO rich, and your website will rank better guaranteed. But that is going to do it for today. That is going to do it for these top 10 common mistakes that are going to hurt your SEO. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.